All right, guys. I had mentioned earlier that I was gonna make a a surf bag. Um, I found this on on Amazon. It was only like thirty two bucks or something like that, like thirty seven bucks with taxes. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna turn this one into a surf bag, but I need to modify it a little bit um, to be able to make it to what I want it to. So just to show you uh, what it has so far. Has some buckles up front. That's the brand, by the way. Um, oh, and uh, let me see. Yeah, it was it was only like thirty seven bucks total. Um, it has this. It has a uh, loops up front, up top, so I could turn it into a shoulder bag. Uh, it comes with a strap. But this strap though, I was looking at it earlier and I wouldn't trust this snap with this um, with this Velcro. I could open it up with my finger and uh, I wouldn't trust that. Um, so it, it comes with the other side. So um, I'm gonna, to modify it, I'm gonna get rid of this ring right here, this ring right here. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't need this crap. I'm gonna get rid of this string. Um, let me see what else. These right here, these buckles right here, I'm gonna get rid of. Um, this pouch right here is okay. Uh, it's a pretty decent pouch. I'm gonna put drain holes in the front, this front pouch. Oh, and then there's a hidden pouch right here right up front and um, I could use that for liters and stuff uh, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna put there yet um, I'll, I'll make another video when I'm gonna have this load up I'm gonna get rid of this this is this is no good for me I don't need this here um, I'm gonna put a tube right here see this this is bungee material I'm gonna put a tube down here so I could put my rod uh, as a rod holder um, this I'm gonna get rid of. This one right here. And the reason why I bought this bag too was because you could turn it into a uh, uh, a waste bag uh, with a belt. I mean, you could use this as a belt too, but I wouldn't trust that. Uh, I already have a, a belt for it, and I'll show you guys in a later video how I'm gonna use that. But this is the inside of the bag. I mean, it's a pretty clean bag. Um, have a side pouch right here on this one. Uh, right there. That one. This one. Has one right here. Oh, and for your keys and wallets. That's why I'm getting rid of this stuff right here. There's, stu there's stuff on here that it's just, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, see, it's sewn in right there. I'm going to cut off that sewing right there. But there's a, there's a pouch right here. You can put like keys and wallets and stuff right here in the back end. So you could have that stuff in the back um, for your like license and stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to modify this and then I'll come back to you guys with, oh, and the other reason why I got this one too, I, I this feature right here, the water bottle feature it has right here on the side. It's, it's, it's a, it's a nice big bag nice mesh bag that can actually fit a 32 ounce Yeti and then it'll just plop right in uh, that's pretty cool if you ask me if it fits one of these in here uh, that's a nice game changer so um, that's one of the reasons why I got this bag too uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you guys when I'm done modifying it and see what you guys think. All right guys, so another part of the modification I'm making to the bag is I made these. These are clear um, plastic sleeves for uh, fluorescent tubes. Uh, these are for size T8 lamps. Uh, they came in a four, four foot uh, sections and I cut it down to a six inch uh, sections for uh, LCs to individually put LCs in there one by one. Uh, I'm gonna put this inside the bag 
As you can see, I have um, nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I have more than nine. Shit, I have 15. Ah, I can't do math. Um, and then I have four bigger ones for SP minnows. Uh, you guys can make make these yourselves. Uh, this size right here is for bigger fluorescent. They sell them in, uh, I think, eight foot sections. And they're only for five bucks for eight foot sections. And you can cut them down to whatever size you want. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm, gluing to, how I'm gluing them together, I'm just hot gluing them. Just uh, real quick, just right down the side, nice and thick. Nice and thick right there. And then just standing them up and placing my uh, tubes into place the, where I want them at. And you have to work kind of quick because this stuff dries real quick. So once I have them lined up just like that and it's starting to cool off, then what I do is I need a new glue stick here. The sides right here, I just fill them up a little bit more just to make sure that they grab on real good. So yeah, that's one. And then here's the other one right here. When I tested them out earlier, I was punching them around and moving around and stuff. But it should be, they should be good once they dry enough. I mean, they don't look pretty as hell or anything, but nobody's going to be looking inside your bag anyways, unless you want people looking inside your bags. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, if, if, you, if you see it just like that, that's one. And SP minnows and stuff. Uh, will fit on over here and this is all gonna fit inside the bag so uh, I'm gonna let this cool down real quick and we'll see the rest of it okay guys as you can see this is already glued together it's not coming apart I already have some these three right here that I'm touching are your Zuri's uh, top water ones uh, it's a macro colored one uh, this is like a, uh, I keep forgetting what this one, a croaker one, and an anchovy one. Um, I have a, a bone colored SP minnow, uh, salt pro SP minnow. Um, these are a couple of few lucky crafts. This is 130 size. I think these are, they're on uh, MR. They're not making, uh, they're not making these no more. These are the bigger sizes of the, of the, of the 110s. Um, I also have like, I have another one of the same Yoziri's the Shimano Colt Sniper. But this is what, this is my idea on how to keep my lures. As you can see, I have a bunch of lures and I just keep tearing them up in these boxes. These boxes are all messed up. Uh, here's another 130. And every time I would want to pull out a lure, sometimes they grab, sometimes they don't. But as you can see, they fit very nicely in here. Or this size bag that I made. Uh, that's one. Here's the uh, the smaller sinking uh, Daiwa Salt Pros right here. These even fit in the smaller tubes as well. Uh, but uh, they don't. Uh, the big tube are too big. This is one thirty as well, right here. You see that? See how they grab on? Uh, a lot of the paints come off on this one too. Um, but here goes another one thirty right here. And like this, I mean, I don't have to carry as many. I, I mean, I, I would carry a lot more lures, but at least I could choose before I go. Uh, this is a Kaivo lure, a white one. Uh, they cast okay, but when the paint when the paint starts chipping, it starts going pretty bad. It just starts uh, going and stuff. But that's probably because I had it in this crappy box too. Um, so at least like this in these tubes they won't get scratched up as much 
but uh, I hardly don't use this one as much. These don't cast as well as a uh, as a as Lucky Crafts do. So you can see, like my Lucky Crafts right here. Uh, I have a white one right here. So I'm gonna put white one over here with this one. The only bad thing is if they go all the way down. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. I have that one. See, you see this? This is what I'm trying to prevent. See this? That's garbage. This is what I'm trying to prevent. If you're on the surf and you're doing this, you're gonna end up dropping lures. Lures are gonna go on the water and stuff. I'm trying to prevent this. And I'm trying to prevent the paint from getting scratched up too, because I mean, the paint jobs on these are pretty good and stuff. Like this matte colored one. This matte colored one is so nice at nighttime. I've used it at nighttime. I've gotten hit a couple of times on this one at nighttime. It's a very good color at nighttime. Um, I'm going to keep this one over here with the white one. Uh, I use the white one at night uh, time too. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. I'm, I'm sick and tired of that. Uh, this is very good for like those foggy mornings. This color right here is very good for those foggy mornings. I've gotten hit a couple of times on this one on the foggy mornings. Uh, if you're wondering, is these are 110, Lucky Crafts 110s. I keep forgetting the, the color on this one. But, uh. See that? This is a blue one, a 110 as well. Blue colored. These do very well at nighttime, uh, morning, sunrise. Uh, it does pretty good. The macro colored one. I've gotten pretty good hits on this one too. Keep that one there. Uh, these are the Kaibo SPs. Uh, as you can see, I don't. I don't really use these as much. Um, probably just backups. If you're gonna start using jerk baits or hard baits on the surf, I highly suggest the Kaiva ones to start learning because you're gonna end up losing some. And as you can see, this one already lost an eye and I haven't even used it that much. Uh, the eye's over here on this side, but it's missing an eye on this side. And I haven't, I haven't even used that one. Uh, this one I haven't even used either. Um, it, so six bucks a pop, seven bucks a pop each one of these compared to each Lucky Craft right here is $20 a pop, okay? So you can see how that math adds up. So if you're going to start using jerk baits, I suggest you start learning with these first. If you lose some of these, it, it, it's not going to break the bank. These, you start losing these, you're going to start crying. Um, but uh, you can tell, like, I've used this one a lot, though. The white ones seem to, the white colored ones seem to do a lot of damage a lot, a lot of the times. Uh, so, I mean, these are the, the ones I have over here. See, um, those are the Kaiba ones. Putting those away right there. Um, what else do I have? Uh, let me see. Let me put this one over here. Just like this. On um, this box right here, let me see what I have in. Ooh. There's one of my SP minnows. My macro one. This is my macro SP minnow as well. Um, Daiwa SP minnow right here. Uh, I've never gotten really hit on this one. Uh, the white one I've gotten hit a couple of, bunch of times with bonitos. But here in LA, this one doesn't hit that much. It's kind of too big. Uh, maybe one day I'll get hit on it. But uh, so far I haven't got hit on it. Uh, I'll put that one over there. But this box right here, I have all my... Uh, 115s. I've gotten hit on a bunch of times on 115s. This is this is a real good color right here. This is Aurora Black. Uh, this is a very good color right here. I, I highly suggest this color for deeper waters and stuff. Um, I highly suggest it. Now I'm running out of room. I have only, let me see. I can put this one over here. Just so I have my 110s. I'll put my 115s to 130s over here. So that way everything's in, in there. Uh, this is a very good color too. This is like a darker smelt, almost like a macro color too for deeper waters. That's a very good color right there. I already have my uh, my uh, MS Anchovian. This is, this is this is fire. Early mornings, dark hours right here, fire right here. This right here, 
magic early uh, right before uh the gray light and stuff see see that man i'm just tired of dealing with this and I'm, i just messed up my bunch of my lures just because i had them in all packed up together in a stupid box jesus christ i can't get this thing okay there it goes uh you can see uh i have another color of the same uh MS Ancho right here. This is the older one. The other one is the newer one right here. Uh, so this one water got into it, um, and it's just, I mean, it's, it's still kind of okay, but it's not all that great. Uh, this is a uh, Chovy too. This is very good too. This this one this one's been in the in the rotation for a while already. It does very awesome. Uh, I'll put that one over here. Uh, sexy smelt. Sexy smelts are very good too. Uh, morning hours as well. Uh, they do very well. Sexy smelt colored. Uh, this is a one fifteens. So that was my all, all my one fifteen uh, colored ones. Uh, and I'm dead serious, guys. The one fifteens are a little bit cheaper because they have stainless steel bearings. So right here I have one tens. And that's not even all my 110s. I have other 110s uh, packed away. Uh, uh, just not doing anything. Oh, here's another one, uh, 115 right here. Uh, this is a electric Grenion right here. This is a very awesome color too. When the Grenion run is happening, this is, this one is fire. I, I've, I've damaged it a little bit. I've already chipped off a, a section of this uh, bill right here. Uh, but that just gives it character. It gives it an even weirder wobble, and it makes it awesome. It's also lost an eye too. Uh, has a couple of few teeth marks here and there. Uh, but this is a, another awesome color right here, uh, which I don't have room for no more. Damn it. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to figure out. No, I'm gonna figure out anything. It just gives me time to. I'm just gonna have to choose which ones I'm gonna have to go with for that day. Uh, the ones I want to go with. So. Yeah, I'm even hesitating to try to put these back. Uh, you guys could get these hook keeper, uh, these guards right here. Uh, if you guys put them. So this is about the last thing I'm going to end up doing to the bag. I already removed some of the, lot, the strings on top. This is a, this goes all the way through, which is kind of cool. I could put something in here. Uh, so it's, I mean, I could put something in this way. Um, I have, uh, attach my my yeti 32 ounce mug i got my pliers on my belt i got my little cheap bogus on here i could squeeze get it out or i could just pull and get it out so either way it works for me uh, i have that there uh, let's go to this front pouch right here. So in this front pouch right here, I have um, leader stuff, uh, snaps, uh, hyper snaps. Uh, I have my uh, tactical angler power clips here and stuff like that. Um, on this side, I have hooks. These are all my hooks I use, a size A owners and. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. Back there, uh, I can't get that closed right now, so I'll leave that there. Um, I could put something in here just to hold. Uh, I'm going to put a little tail piece for plumbing in here. I'm going to hot glue gun it in there so I could have a rod holder in here. Uh, in this side pouch right here, I have in this blue bag, I have weights, I have my measuring tape. I have an extra croc right there, a brand new croc. Crocs are, you could always have a good amount of crocs, man. Crocs are very good. It catches everything underneath the sun, so. Over here I have 15 pound, 20 pound, and a 20 pound that's about to run out. Uh, camel crack. Um, you guys know what that is. You always have to have that in your bag. Uh, this is my tin uh, case on my, tin, on my uh, spoons and uh these little uh p-line uh ones 
can never have too many spoons, man. I'm telling you guys, they catch everything. Uh, when in doubt, go to that. You see, see this? See this? I was going to replace these anyway. See that? This is a cheap paracord. I'm going to replace those. I have, I actually have, good, you see that paracord right there? See how it shines? I have this paracord right here. Uh, I'm going to replace that with this. So, uh, this is reflective paracord. So, uh, that's okay. I, by the way, these zippers are YKK zippers. So, um, let me open up this. Check that out, guys. Ah, uh, damn, that's sexy as fuck. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much the bag. Peace. All right, guys. Um, the other day when I was using my bag out in the surf, when I put my plastic tray up here, I noticed that uh, the, I could use this as a tabletop. I was afraid, though, that the plastic tray, if I was able to rock forwards and backwards, would probably fall. So one upgrade that I've been able to manage just because this piece right here is Velcro, I realized that all I had to really do to make sure that tray doesn't go anywhere, I pull my tray out for my lures. You can see all I did was just put a little piece of Velcro here, slap that thing on. That doesn't go nowhere, bro. Look at that. I can pick up the whole pack with that little piece of Velcro. I can take it off. Boom, that thing ain't going nowhere. Plus, if all I'm using is tins, instead of me using a tin and putting it in and taking it out and putting it on top, taking it off and putting it back in again, I can just leave it there, close up my pouches right here, and leave this here, and nothing bothers it. If I want to change out my lures, I can change out all my lures that are inside, one by one, individually, and I will have no problems doing that. Okay, so I expanded that feature to some of my other stuff. I also wear a backpack. If I'm just going with this, it's gonna be for a quick session, probably maybe two hours, three, two hours and a half tops. If I'm gonna be going for longer walks, I also take this backpack. And this backpack right here, I've been having, I used to use this backpack here with a chest rig. This is just a Camelback uh, Transformer. It's been with me for fucking years already. A lot of t a lot of years already, actually. Uh, has I can remove this pouch right here. Uh, I think I can remove one of these pouches. This pouch right here. I could just use it for for a water care uh, a water carrier if I wanted to. But the main reason why why I still have my backpack and I still use my backpack is because. This is where I have all my, all my um, drop shot stuff, uh, gulps and stuff. This is where I keep them. I keep them in here because the bags leak after a while. Okay, guys? The bags will leak on you, and if they leak inside your bags, guess what? Your bags are going to be smelly. So what I did to this was I just put a couple few little pieces of Velcro here. And the same thing with my bag. I could just... Put it up here, and if I'm doing nothing but drop shot, guess what? I don't have to keep putting this in my backpack to put it away. I could just leave it here, and I could reload all my 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 gulps right here. If I want to be doing something even crazier, I could take that off there. Check this out. Boom. On my belt. Check that out. Huh? How you like them apples? And it's on there securely, dude. I mean, I could pick up my whole pack just like that. Um, these are pretty good. They don't leak at all. Uh, but I, I don't I don't only carry that in there. I also carry swim baits. All my swim baits and stuff. I carry it in this thing. Boom. If I'm going to be doing nothing but swim baits at the time, if I want to be using nothing but swim baits, there it is right there. I could... Could open it, close it, and I don't have to put. I don't have to reach around to my backpack again to put it away or anything. I just take off my backpack, take it out, put it on my pack, turn my pack around, or like I did the other one. Look, bam! 
How do you like that, huh? How do you like that? Hmm? Not bad. If you're wondering where I got the Velcro from, Walmart holds 10 pounds. The whole strip will hold 10 pounds. Okay? So, Walmart, three bucks.